what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to talk about the unused power that the creeper possessed in the original script for jeepers creepers i've talked about this in a previous video where i talked about the original ending for jeepers creepers where the creeper would basically have attacked a train that of course got uh scrapped and victor salva reworked that ending to the ending we now have with us and we've had it for the past nearly 20 years that horrifying ending that i'm sure traumatized a lot of us as kids uh, in the original script, the creeper at the end was going to attack Trisha and Derry. Uh, they escaped the police station and they ended up getting into the creeper's truck. And then while in the creeper's truck, they would have been driving to train tracks. And while they're driving in the creeper's truck, the creeper is chasing after them on the street, but he's running almost just as fast as they're as the as he's running just as fast as his truck is going. So that of course leads us to us having originally we would have found out that the creeper one of his other powers is super speed uh, he can run very fast now that got cut because of budget reasons and we could still have that used somehow i feel like that could be used in jeepers creepers 4 or any other type of jeepers creepers movie if you ever want to explore that i feel like that would be more interesting to see than us seeing the creeper truck drop mario kart s bombs and shoot harpoons out of it out of the exhaust pipe and have all these different like cell doors that drop down when you press the wrong lever or something i the truck i just feel like the truck is ridiculous S instead of souping up the truck in jeepers creepers 3 they should have souped up the creeper that, that would have been much more acceptable uh the fact that the truck moved on its own um was absolutely ridiculous but i'm going off on another thing if the creeper has super speed i feel like that would explain several things it would explain also why he might be able to reach certain heights that he does uh when he jumps because you know he can jump in the air pretty high also on top of that he does have wings but it would also explain maybe these instances in the films where he's kind of there and then he's not there uh and it might also it's it's also not out of the realm of possibility that he has super speed uh just from the simple fact that i know when he can fly he does seem to be he does seem to be flying pretty fast not to say that uh that's a reason he would have super speed but maybe that could be used as a little nod to he can do this in the air but he can also do it on on his feet and the original ending of jeepers creepers unfortunately since we did not get it um i feel like we if we did get it would have been a really interesting thing to see seeing the creeper run after his truck like that and i believe details in the script made it seem like he was going to at one point or another catch on fire from it because he was going so fast but not not necessarily catch on fire but you know he would have appeared to be like he's catching on fire because he's running he's running that fast uh and then at one point he then leaps into the air on top of the creeper truck at this point it's just him and Derry because Derry kicks Trisha out of the car he's about to sacrifice himself to kill the creeper uh he's about to drive head on into the creeper in he's using the creeper truck to drive head on into the ongoing oncoming train on the train tracks uh the creeper's truck presumably is is destroyed Derry dies in the process but the creeper survives because then at the end we still see the creeper in his lair with with Derry's corpse uh the only thing that I will say I take away from that is the fact that that ending explains why the Creepers truck was not in Jeepers Creepers 2. So now if you think about the original ending of Jeepers Creepers 2, you have to assume that Victor Salva, or think about the ending of Jeepers Creepers, the original film. Thinking about that original ending, you have to consider that it seems that Victor Salva still, still had written Jeepers Creepers 2 as if the ending of the first movie had stayed the same because we don't have the creeper truck in the second film had we have gotten the original ending of the first movie that would have made more sense as to why his truck wasn't here anymore because it got destroyed in the first movie but then of course in the cathedral script the truck comes back so that all still would not have really made any sense where the we still don't know where the truck was in jeepers creepers 2 because jeepers creepers 3 doesn't really touch on that uh but yeah i think super speed being added to the creeper would be a very useful tool for him we could see him uh kill, and it's not it's again it's not out of the realm of possibility because he moves very fast as it is when he's flying so 
it wouldn't be that too shocking to find out he can do the same thing on his feet. So I feel like that would be very useful for him to have. Very, we could see him when the when his victims try to run or whatever. Instead of using his wings, he could then we could see instances of him just using his super speed to like cut them off of the past or uh, just kind of run and scoop them up or run and take whatever body part he wants off of them in the blink of an eye. We don't know how fast he's running, but. I don't think he's running sonic speed fast. I don't think that's how the, the original script made it look because Derry is driving the truck and he just turns around and he notices that the creeper is coming after him head on almost as fast as the truck is going. So he might not be that fast, but he clearly is running faster than any normal person on their feet would because he's almost right there on the tail of the truck. He's He's basically running after the truck as if he's another car behind the truck and he's he's got like a car basically a few car links in between him and that truck. He's running that fast. Not Sonic fast, but he is running fast. I think that would be a very cool thing to see happen on a fourth movie, if we ever get it, of course, to see the Creeper running after his victims in an instance where they're, where they're driving and he's running after their vehicle because he doesn't have his. Then, of course, you know, you'll have some people who will object to that and say that what's the point of him running when he has wings? But honestly victor salva probably wrote that in just to have a little cool shot at the end of the at the end of the first movie because again yes he doesn't need to run that still would have been a cool shot to see the creeper running while he's basically catching fire because he's going so fast um he we some of the powers we know the creeper has is it appears he has telekinesis to control things with his mind uh he his and i believe that has something to do that's been teased since jeepers creepers 2 i know a lot of people say what he was doing in jeepers creepers 3 with the harpoons and everything coming into his hand didn't make sense not necessarily because in jeepers creepers 2 we see kind of teases of that uh that he has these powers uh and then i know but then what what's funny to me is it's only it appears this is only with his truck and with his weapons he doesn't have this effect on uh he doesn't have this effect on his victims for whatever reason or another i don't i don't really know why that is he he don't he doesn't have those powers to do that with his victims he can only do that with his truck and then of course his weapons which is very odd to me because i feel like if he could use it to if he could use it on his victims then he wouldn't have to worry about chasing them down like that uh maybe his powers are limited to just that and then i guess that would also tie into a cool lore story that would explain why this is the way that it is Maybe we can have that Indian shaman thing happen that I've talked about on my channel that would rationalize why his powers are very limited to just his own personal weapons and his truck. Or maybe he hasn't mastered how to use it on humans, which again, doesn't really make sense. Maybe they should just abandon that whole power. <laughs> uh, but we know he has telekinesis. We know he can fly. We know he knows how to... He's, he's very good with his hands. He's very artsy. Uh, not that that's a power, but some of his strengths and skills here. Um, we know that he has a taste for human flesh, of course. And we know that for whatever reason, he loves insulting the Holy Trinity or just insulting Jesus Christ. Not to say that he's doing that on purpose when he's impersonating the Scarecrow and everything. Um, but we see him in the movie multiple times represented as the Antichrist. So gotta wonder victor salva himself said there's no type of religious background to this but maybe he's just trying to hide the truth or maybe back when he was saying that he was just trying to hide the actual truth from what he had planned for the creeper uh he did say that he believes he started out as a man i've already made my theory about what that man could have been and what happened to him but the creeper having super speed and him running real fast in certain scenes in a fourth movie or tv series if that if any of those two ever happened that would definitely be something different to see. It would be nice to see that original idea from the first movie happen and come to fruition. Maybe not in a ridiculous manner, because I know a lot of people are going to say this probably sounds a bit ridiculous if you've read the original script. It does come off a bit cheesy, but again, just by reading it, that's that's all again. We're just getting stuff based off of reading it. We actually have to see it unfold in an actual movie, in an actual uh, TV series or something where the creeper is running that fast after a vehicle. Uh, and then, of course, while he's doing that, he could let out that that battle cry. We know he likes to let out not the one from the end of Jeepers Creepers 3 where he's basically crying like a big baby. The cry that we hear at the end of the first Jeepers Creepers. 
The one at the end of Jeepers Creepers 3 is a cry of defeat, and oh my gosh, I can't believe this. He's crying like he just broke up with his girlfriend, honestly. Uh, so I, that's like my least favorite scene in Jeepers Creepers 3 when he's he gets down on his knees and he bellows like that. It's so it's so infuriating to me. But yeah, I think the creeper having super speed would be a nifty new aspect to discover and um, kind of explore in a fourth film or TV series potentially because we know he originally kind of had that in the ending of the first film and sadly due to budget reasons that didn't happen we never got to see that uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video